Hey guys, so I heard that you want to make progress this year. That's great. That's a great start, but wanting to make progress and actually making progress are two separate things. So making progress this year, as we start the year 2022, has to do with starting with making a plan. So make some goals for yourself this year. Make long-term goals, medium-term goals, and then short-term goals. Even daily goals are important. And think about the main things in your game that you need to practice. See, a lot of people practice everything kind of in general. Five minutes on pushing, five minutes on flipping, five minutes on blocking, five minutes on trick shots, you know, maybe a couple matches here and there, and then they expect something to be different. So what you have to do is you have to actually have specific goals and develop specific strengths. See, a lot of people, probably 90% of all players are focused on fixing their weak points, which is fine. But if you're a 1600 player or a 2400 player or a 2700 player and everything in your game is normal, normal block, normal loop, normal push, and you're just hoping to somehow put more balls on the table than the other player, it could work, it's not bad, but I would actually recommend developing specific strengths, whether it be one particular serve that's very good, or one particular serve return, or one particular type of loop that's very good. See, developing weapons and then structuring your game around those weapons is how you develop what's called a playing system or a playing style. Once you have a particular way that you can win points and then the opponent tries to avoid those strengths, now you're able to trap them into specific plays that can win points again and again and again. So I don't know you, I don't know your game, but what I'm recommending is that you first make the goal as far as this is the level I wanna to get to. Think strategically about your own game. What are my current strengths? And then think realistically, one level, two levels, three levels down the road, when I'm three levels better than I am right now, what are those specific strengths gonna look like as they play out in my game? So I'm all for fixing weak points, that's good. But this year, I want you to focus on developing strengths. As you develop strengths, point winning strengths that can actually win points, then you pose traps to the opponent. And now he's making a lot of mistakes as well, trying to avoid your strengths. What you have to realize that table tennis, we cannot earn a single point. We cannot hit a home run. We cannot um, shoot a three pointer. The only thing that we can do is hope that the other guy makes mistakes. How do we hope that they make mistakes? We don't just sit back saying, please mess up, please mess up, please mess up. No, we don't do that. What do we do? We develop strengths that can hinder the other guy, whether it be a tricky serve or a tricky return or a powerful smash or a spinning loop. As you develop strengths, this causes your opponents to make more errors. I'm Samson Dabina. Thanks for watching. For more free articles and videos, make sure you check out my website, samsonnavina.com. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I post a lot of free content there and you definitely wanna check it out. I'll see you soon.